Watch the full album reaction on Patreon. Link in video description. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm already sure this is going to be a lot of fun. These guys always put, put a smile on your, uh, on your face. Let's go. <laughs> Bump it. Let me fix the audio very quickly. I always forget to do this. Let's go. It's electronic star. Maybe gym. This is like gym core. This song specifically. Like the perfect gym song, you know, when you work out. I think Jazz Vocalist is Kevin, right? I think. Like this guy. Super catchy too, right? And they have this metalcore chugging in the background. And then the techno comes in. Dance music. If you didn't watch, watch the music video for this one, it's so freaking funny. <laughs> Damn at the gym. <laughs> and there's one other guitarist that's got a dumbbell shaped guitar. <laughs> Breakdown coming in. Very good. And the, I love the switches between the heavier parts and um, the dancey part, dancey happy part, so to speak. Works very, very well, right? Very smooth transitions. The ending part is a little bit heavier, cool uh, build up here. Back to the triplet. I love the Chaggy power chord riffing, very down to. Oh yeah, brother. Like in the uh, music video at the end, there is Kevin with the weights like uh, on the bench, like benching weights like this. And uh, at the end, like it just throws the weight in the ceiling. <laughs> like, the song gives you so much power that you're going to be able to throw the weights in the ceiling. Hopefully it, it won't come back though, because if you come back on your face, yeah, you're going to die probably. But other than that, uh, and the fact that the music video uh, from the song, and as a matter of fact, like all their music videos are so hilarious. Um, I really like, like the first thing I thought when I listened to these guys and this like more like um, fun version, dancey version of their music, is that uh, they really um, are not shine out or actually getting heavy. Like, um, most of the bands I know that do this, maybe they are not Japanese, uh, like from the West, they do this like a mix of like electronic music and, um, you know, metalcore or metal in general. They usually go more on the melodic commercial route. Sure, they have some metalcore or some like metal riffing in the background, but usually the way they mix it and the way they try to sound is to give like their like fun, dancey, um electronic part uh more like more are of a relevance in the mix like you hear before the fun dancey part and then in the background like very very in the background there is some metal in there 
right? Some metal chugging, some metal guitar that follows the rhythmical and the melody of the song. Uh, but usually, you know, they try to go more on the like full on, full on commercial route, maybe to make more money, to sell more, and so on and so forth. Uh, but these guys, actually, you know, of course, they go, they still go very like melodic, they still go very fun, very electronic. So, you know, they still have a little bit of a commercial vibe about the, mu vibe about the music, but when there is like when they need to get heavy, they actually get heavy. Like if you listen to the riffing, um, actually it's very heavy, very punchy, very cool drumming, very cool power chords, very downtune guitar. And they also have a lot of screaming, right? Very, very aggressive arch vocals from Kevin, their, um, the screamer. And they have, uh, I think Nico is the other guitarist, right? The other vocalist, right? Sorry if I get the names wrong, but. I think, yeah, I think the Arch vocalist is Kevin, um, the clean vocalist name is Nico, I think. And um, he also joined the band like recently in the, 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 in the few uh, like the latest years. They had another vocalist before, I think, right? Uh, but yeah, they do an, an awesome job being heavy, you know, punchy sound, heavy. But at the same time, they give you a little bit of a very fun, very like electronic danceable vibe. And again, they don't shy. Uh, they don't shy about when there is actually the need to get heavy. You know, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that they go a little bit on the commercial route, but not full on. They still they still sound pretty metal as well. I like that. Next one. We got the moves. All right. I watched the video for this one too. They have super freaking like weird ball haircuts, the ball cuts, <laughs> and they are doing this all the time. Every time I hear the song, I want to do this because of the reason. Summer moon, the hot sand under my feet. Cold beer, cheap wine. Yeah, that's all that we need. We got the moves. We got the moves. Then everybody's like, oh, fuck, yeah. That's Very good cool transition here, by the way. We got Tony coming in. Pretty taggy riff. Again. They are going heavy too, right? This is not, not loud, you know? And then with a catchy, melodic, fun, you know, fancy, dancing club, good feel. Man, the transitions they have are super creative too. I like that. Fun Again, I love the way they do it, you know? Punch you in the face, but with a smile, <laughs> you know? Breakdown coming in, I believe. Super catchy. Super, super catchy. The art style beat here in the background. <laughs> There you go. Good drop. The back speed voice slow down. Very nice. And sing. Then get in again. <laughs> I 
electronic drum beat. Very ramp sign by the way. Alright man. Cool, cool stuff. Very, very, very cool stuff. Uh, you know the thing. Um, the thing I forgot to mention, and these guys being German, they also have a little bit of industrial in there, right? Like the riffing, the main riff. Um, the main riff for um, we got the moves. Uh, definitely it's got a little bit of that, you know, um, Rammstein chugging type of stuff of industrial sound in there. That, dun 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 you know, very like chuggy classic um, industrial type of feel to it. Again, even the melodies and um, the vibe in general, you, if you pay attention and if you listen to, in, listen to industrial metal before, specifically from Germany, you can see a lot of influences from classic industrial metal bands from Germany and European uh, in general, right? Uh, again, another super, super fun song. Very fun, cool vibes. But again, they don't shy away when there is need from some punchiness, from some heaviness. Uh, yeah, they definitely like, you know, they, they punch you uh, in the face, but with a smile because they punch you in the face and then the the fun part of the song uh, starts and uh, it becomes super electronic and super club type of uh, electronic uh, dance music, you know. Uh, again, super duper catchy, um, super smooth transition. I love their transition. They get very creative with it. Some transitions are more electronic. Some transitions are more metal. Uh, some transitions are a little bit, a little bit of an hybrid with the, like um, electronic drums and maybe like actual guitar in there and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, very, very smooth, very cohesive type of sound and mixing. Um, and in this, this one specifically, it's got a lot of electronic drumming and electronic rhythmical in there, which makes it a little bit more, more catchier, danceable, I feel like. And uh, that uh, the part that kills me in the song makes me like, I remember the first time I heard it, I was ch ch chuckling like like an idiot. Uh, like that, like that breakdown, that, 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 like, that, that slow down boy band 90 slow down they have at the ending made make me feel like uh, I'm like 13 year, years old again and listening to Backstreet Boys on the radio with my in my mom's car or something <laughs> the sync kind of break down <laughs> kind of slow down not break down but yeah man definitely a super fun song they I, I was very excited to listen to this album because it's I knew I'm I was gonna have a good time because it's so freaking funny, you know. Uh, next one is gonna be Fat Boy. All right. Now speaking of songs, I don't know. As I was uh, at the start, uh, yeah, don't think I ever listened to this one actually. Fat Boy. Yeah. Actually, don't think I know this one. All right. I'm I'm sure it's gonna be there's gonna be a few I never I never heard because all the songs I know from them is from reactions I did to their music videos on YouTube. And this one, I don't even know if they have a music video for this one, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that I never listened to this song specifically. Of course, we know what Fuckboy is, right? It's like the Gen Z lingo. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm in my 30s, right? So I had to learn all this stuff recently. I, I had to learn all this stuff recently, you know. Fuckboy is basically a dude that... Um, good-looking dude, good with girls that only care about sex though so it doesn't really want to have a relation he only care about sex so he goes to girls just because of sex and then go from one to the other to the other to the other right as the name says you know fuck boy just, yeah it's very easy to um, to, to guess uh, yeah but yeah let's go fuck boy next one watch the full album reaction on patreon link in video description 